What's up, people? Josh with Skinner's Farms again. I'm gonna do a little bit of work outside tonight. I'm probably gonna get wet here. I don't know if you can see. Got my sprinkler out. Sprinklers. There's one here. One in the very back there. Um, I got them set to where they meet in the middle and come straight up fall at the end of the fence. I put some fence up. I don't know if you can see it's hard to see it's black. It's called deer fence. Put some fence up around it tonight so that the critters can't get in. Uh, yes, those are my potatoes and onions. Tomorrow my plan to I plan to uh, get that turned over. Um, got a little, uh, some of you might know them as a Manus style, little two stroke cultivator tiller thing. It's just smaller than my front tine here. That, yes, it's a little timer's dent, put a wash tub over it or something. Left it sitting in the garden, took the wheels off, that way we didn't have to take it off. Take it out of the garden every time, put the wheels back on it and all that kind of mess. I just, it's a little bit of a hassle. But, put your wash tub on it, or a cow feeder, <laughs> that's what I use. Uh, you're good to go. But, yeah, we need to get these weeds pulled and this ground turned. Uh, and my hands are filthy and black. I finished planting the garden this evening i know it's probably a little late but better late than never right so whatever comes up this year we'll eat what don't obviously we won't but we'll get wet you know watch it uh anyway i just want to show you a quick update on what we got going on here um not the prettiest fence job i've ever done but I ran a fence, ran a post, and it was, uh, been thinking about it, so I shouldn't say it's a last minute thing, but, uh, it was last minute. Okay, I'm gonna do it now. So I didn't string it like I normally would, like I did my, uh, walkway down here, pass through, whatever you want to call it for the, uh, calves and cows and, Yeah, that's where we're at. I'm gonna water for probably half hour or so. That'll give me about that inch that I need. Plus, it's supposed to rain some this week, and that'll help. Um, let's see if I don't know if you can see. You probably yeah, you can see a little bit of the water there. It comes straight up and stops. Gonna go right back down and meet the one down here. If I can get there without getting soaked, I'm gonna kill myself tripping over hoses. And here we go. Here's the other one. I do the same thing. You can kind of see the water there. They meet in the middle, they don't meet at the exact same time and I might be getting a little bit more water on the middle than what I need but well maybe them maybe them beans and peppers and tomatoes will get bigger than the rest of them and maybe they won't I don't know we'll see it's the first time I've had to have uh two sprinklers in the garden because I made it longer and nope, don't kill yourself. That's where we're at tonight. This uh, this weekend, gonna go to the farm store and get some more new hoes because my old ones are old and got me a new. 
Let's see, farming, ranch grade. Hose. Got me a splitter there. Got one coming off the hydrant and the two 50 footer split and go to the uh, sprinklers. Like I said, in one of the other videos, we'll run, we'll probably run this 100 footer out to the front pasture, run another one to the back pasture, we'll put it, I'll put me a four way splitter in here, excuse me, on the hydrant. And then, uh, actually I'll probably run I don't know if I'm 50 foot of reach or not, but I run one back to the gate. Excuse me. Run a two way splitter from there to the holding pen and then to the hog lot. I'll probably put a three way in there. Put one, I may just run two. There's no need to get an overkill on it. Uh, one to the hog lot, one to the holding pen. Pull one out of the hog lot or the holding pen, whichever one I need to do to run to. Sorry, I'm not flying my eye. Uh, so I'll probably do that. Uh, put a two way in there, just pull a hose out of one tank and another one, whichever one's closest, easiest to get to at the time. And then from there, Similar on one there, two, three. I'm gonna split that one. I'll run a fourth one, one down over further into the pasture, and split that one into the two other pastures down there. And then one down there's a the creek, and they can get all they want then. But a lot of hoses, a lot of splitters. A lot of fun. Um, so I know it's a short video. Not much to show, not much to talk about. Other than what we've got going here, I mean, look at. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I know it's wet, but look how dark that soil is. That's from chicken manure. Uh, brush pile fires uh ashes uh, when we first bought the place there was a bunch of uh hanging plants some hanging planter things and um some bags of potting soil and uh, peat moss and stuff like that uh the planters were all dead they didn't come back the next year so i dumped them on there been basically doing stuff like that ever since and just the ashes ashes from your wood stove or your wood furnace we have both here um one of those sprinklers not showing no we're gonna hook his hose uh you get stuck in your driveway keep your ashes in a a metal trash can i'll let's see if I know where it's at. I just don't want you guys have to watch me dig through everything to find it. It's in the shed because it's obviously summertime. You don't need it. We're not burning firewood. But get your metal trash can. Everybody's seeing grandma, 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 and grandpa had one. Uh, they're great for holding your ashes. Ash is great for the garden. It's great if you, know, you can't plow your driveway or you have a don't have a blacktop driveway or whatever. Even if you can't plow your driveway and somebody's gonna get stuck. It happens. Get you one of these. Spiders are free. Um Take your ashes out. There's always gonna be a little bit of hot embers in there. Put them in a metal can, save them. Uh, 
my daughter got stuck. It was last year, year before, maybe a year before. And uh, dad can't get out. Be out in a minute. So I go get my ash can, trash can, and I get my little shovel and I sprinkle it out there. I drive her car out. She's happy. She's impressed. How did you know to do that? I've been around a little bit longer than you. That's how. <laughs> that's something for you guys to think about. That's those are great for that. They'll, they'll melt the ice and junk and give you some traction on your driveway or your sidewalk if you have to. You know, when weather gets nice, go out there with the garden hose and spray it off, sweep it off with the broom, whatever. But thanks for stopping by. Thanks to our servicemen and women and our veterans. And come back and see us.